I'd like to start by saying a big thank you to everyone who's watched, liked, commented and subscribed to the channel. It's a privilege to share with you and I'm truly grateful for your support. I've recently had a few comments regarding anxiety, which is something that can rear its ugly head for many of us. I'm not an expert, but I did suffer from anxiety for many years until recently. I still get the odd wobble, but thankfully it doesn't last long. I have found that relaxation through meditation is the best cure for anxiety and stress, since they both stem from the mind. I'd like to share some of the possible causes in the hope that it will be beneficial to some of you, those that know what it is to live with anxiety and stress. If we find the cause or causes of what is making us anxious, then we can make the change or changes to eliminate them in order to improve our mental health and well-being. If you suffer from anxiety and get easily stressed, then it could be due to one or some of the following factors. Perhaps think if any of these apply to you. If they do, then try to eliminate the cause or the causes. Even if it's only temporary to start with, and then see if you begin to feel better. Think of it as an experiment you're going to do. You're going to find what makes you feel anxious and stressed. If you know what causes it, then you know what to do to feel better, right? You can do this. Anxiety and stress can affect us on different levels. They can have a physical effect on us, an emotional effect on us, a mental effect on us, and a spiritual effect on us. Our working life can sometimes be very tough. Sometimes we have a long and costly commute to work, which makes the working week seems much longer and many people arrive home exhausted every night. Some people like to be controlling at work and bully their workmates. This can be especially difficult if it's a boss that's doing the bullying. Speaking to the person can sometimes be a good idea as they may not be aware of how you're feeling and how their actions have an effect. If the bullying continues after this, and as tempting as it may be to retaliate at times, I found that this isn't a solution. Feeling that you have to stay in a job in order to pay bills can be incredibly stressful and cause anxiety, especially if the workload is increased, the hours are long and you get no thanks or there's no reward that comes. If you can't find alternative employment, then being kind to them is sometimes the best solution. It's not easy to do at first, but with practice it gets easier. Sometimes other people are going through exactly what you're going through and your kindness may be just what they need to feel better about themselves. At any rate, it will make you feel better about yourself. Many people are struggling at the moment to make ends meet, even with a job, as prices are increasing and wages are not rising. More families are now reliant on food banks than ever before and many families are only one paycheck away from homelessness. Not having enough money to survive and pay bills or buy healthy food can be a great worry and a cause for anxiety. Many of us keep battling on and suffering in silence. It's like a kettle boiling with more and more pressure until finally the lid comes off and we have to admit that we need help. It's not easy to admit to yourself that you're struggling, but honesty is the best policy. Once you realise and admit to yourself, as well as to others, that you're struggling, then you've taken a step in the right direction. Talking about your feelings and what's going on in your head is therapy, whether this is to a friend, a family member or to a stranger. You've opened the lid on the kettle and some of the steam has escaped. You'll feel better and you'll be glad you did. Not having independence and having to rely on other people is another cause for anxiety. None of us like to feel we're a burden on anyone since we all want to be free and have our independence. Earning your own money and paying your own bills gives a sense of achievement. If we're not able to do this, then there are other things we can do to make use of the time not spent working. Learning a new skill or hobby or a new language or doing something that we're interested in helps enormously with self-esteem. We feel better when we're active and doing things. Group activities are a wonderful way of meeting people. For example, it could be art. 
you already know that you'll have something in common with those people as they're there for art, just like you. And in this way, new relationships and friendships can be made. When you're not feeling well and are not able to get an appointment for a health check, that's another cause that may make you anxious. Many doctor's surgeries still haven't fully returned to work after the last two years, and many illnesses and infections are still going undiagnosed, since few ailments can be cured through video and telephone calls alone. Waiting for an operation or being in discomfort through physical pain is a cause for great anxiety. Hopefully, the health service will be able to attend to these people very quickly and waiting for health care will become a thing of the past. Remaining calm and positive through meditation and relaxation is the best solution. If your mind is calm and your emotions are positive, then this will filter down into your physical body. Watching too much television and being on social media for hours on end instead of living in the moment causes anxiety. Social media is extremely addictive and when left unchecked can become a dependency. Our minds absorb what we see and if this is something negative then our minds will automatically dwell on this and this can make us anxious. Focusing on positive things is the answer here. Take time away from your phone to look up and see what's going on around you. Notice the nature and the surrounding sights through your eyes and not through a lens. You can start to have conversations with people when you're free from your phone. You never know, you just might make someone stay by a smile and a polite chat, and they might just make yours. This is real life, and it feels good to communicate. Virtual friends and social media are different from living in the moment and enjoying the physical presence of friends. Another cause for anxiety is living in a depraved area without green spaces nearby. Looking out at grey buildings without colour and nature can make us anxious and stressed. The constant noise of traffic and the fast pace of life is not good for our mental health. We may not realise that we need to spend time in nature until we actually do it. Watching wildlife, noticing flowers, trees and plants and smelling the fresh air of nature actually lifts our spirits and will eliminate any anxiety we feel. Sometimes we can feel isolated and alone and feel we don't have any support from society. Humans are naturally sociable and we need company, physical company. If you do live alone, then consider having a pet if you're able to. Animals give the most amazing unconditional love to humans. They sense when you're not feeling well or feeling anxious and they can lift our spirits, sometimes without us even realising it. They help us and we help them too. It's a beautiful experience for both us and them. The mind is a powerful friend or a powerful enemy. It's our own best friend or our own worst enemy. The decision is for each of us to make. Life is a brief experience. Enjoy it. You've got this.